Alright guys, so I wanted to do an anime review video, or not even a review, just kind of talking about it. Maybe a review. But uh, I haven't done an anime video in a while, and today I wanted to talk about Ice Show 21, which is by far my favorite sports anime of all time. I think it's the best. I know a lot of people wouldn't agree with me, but it is by far my favorite sports anime. And it's about um, a kid named Kabai Kabai Kawasena? Something. I haven't watched the anime in about a year and I've seen it like four times, but Japanese names are hard for me to remember. And he's like a kid that's easily bullied, and he's always been a gopher for people, and he's been running around, and apparently he is amazingly fast. That's a talent he was born with. He can run um, extremely fast, and he gets recruited by one of the coolest anime characters of all time, Hiruma. Uh, Yoichi Hiruma, I think his name is, and to join the, and Kurita for to join the football team after they witness his abilities. And Hiruma is just an awesome character because he's like, do anything to win, crazy, over the top. A lot of the things in the show aren't like super realistic, but they're funny. And it, it does things that really draws emotion out of you because it's a really happy-go-lucky anime. But there are parts that are super serious. Like there's one character where he wants to be a football player and he has no no god-given gifts at all he is completely below average in everything except he's a little he's smart after studying a lot and that one of the art i'm not gonna spoil anything but there's one episode with him and you'll see it um it's the tower of hell episode you'll see it when you see it you'll know what i'm talking about and it is one of the most emotion feels things i've seen in sports anime and it, like, there's a, oh my god, there's ninjas everywhere cutting onions. I didn't cry, but <laughs> it's hard not to. It always gets me every time I watch this anime. <laughs> Excuse me. And all the characters grow. There's, they don't just, like, forget characters. Characters grow and they actually become useful. And their abilities are used later on in the anime. They don't just get forgotten. And everybody has their role to fill. That doesn't mean they're going to be the best character. And a lot of the football games are very intense. Like, I... Um, I didn't know how some of them were going to end out and I The ending one thing I'll warn you about this anime the ending ends on a cliffhanger So you need to watch the manga if, or read the manga if you want to see the true ending But in the manga, there's a lot of games that I wouldn't expect other people to win and The bad guys in this show. Oh my god Agato Whatever his name is is one of the most I don't one of the most evil <laughs> like he drew like the most hate out of me out of like any villain i've seen and it, well no but it's pretty bad like he the show does a very good job of making you hate him and all the characters when they like prog the progression in the show is the main thing like the growth of the characters is so important and it goes on throughout the whole show the characters are constantly evolving and it feels so gratifying when they overcome a barrier. Oh my freaking God, it is one of the best feelings and it feels awesome when they overcome a barrier. I'm telling you, that is, just watch this show. And if you get through the whole, it is a long, longer show. I think it's like 135 episodes. I've watched it about four times. If you really like sports animes, I would recommend just watching it once if you would like. It is so good. The growth of the characters, the training that they go through, it is going to amp like it amps me up when I'm watching this show. I'm like, oh, I need to start working out. I want to be like these guys. I want to get strong, even though it's completely unrealistic. Um, and the characters, all the characters, have moments where they shine. Like there was one character at the start. He's four eyes quarterback for um, guy with glasses with quarterback for the Ojo White Knights, which is like one of the big teams, and. There's a character named Sakuraba who I really disliked at the start, but him, like, there's an arc about those two, and it really makes you start to care about these characters. Like, Four Eyes did nothing before that arc, really, and you figure out his relationship with Sakuraba, and it's just like, okay, Four Eyes is cool. He's a very cool character, and... There's teams, and the abilities of the football teams are obviously, like, exaggerated out the wazoo. But it's interesting. It's like very interesting to see their abilities. And some of them are semi-realistic. Like they're exaggerated to make it more interesting to watch. And 
sometimes you'll see Senna running for like the main character running for like ever. And I'm like, if he's running this fast, he's already got the touchdown, but it's, he's only ran for like 10 yards in the actual show. So it exaggerates it, but it pulls it back in and makes it a little bit more realistic. That's something you'll notice if you watch the show. You'll be like, oh my God, he's been running for, he would already be gone. Like that is a first down. But no, he only made it like three or four yards. They just hyped it up. It's it's a very good show. I'm telling you, if you want to feel some emotions and you really like sports animes, this is one of my favorites of all time. It's lighthearted, but all the characters are super interesting. And the relationships between them matter. It's a team sport, and they definitely make you feel that. When other characters in the show get stronger, the whole you can notice the whole team gets stronger. It is not like... Cinna can do everything on his own. They make it a point that Cinna cannot do everything on his own. He can do really good on his own, but he can't beat the bigger teams on his own. And I really wish they would have went farther into the manga because there's some matchups in there where I was just like, who are these people? Why are they beating the main guys? I was just like, what happened here? And, oh my God, it's so good. And then there's that arc. Well, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But watch the show and then if you like it read the manga it's really really good uh, i know it's longer if you're dying in the long animes you might not want to give it a chance but oh my god it's such a good feeling show and it can draw out some emotions from you it will make you angry because some of the characters do things that you're just like don't talk to my favorite character that way or not even your favorite character but a character that you care about because it will get you where you start to care about certain characters and oh it's just so good watching them overcome everything and the team get put together it's a little uh i wouldn't even say it starts slow if you're re-watching it it starts kind of slow because you know what happens at the start but once the team like once you start getting to the end again you're just like oh yes let's go <laughs> and sometimes i forget how they did certain games like i was just like i was like they, it made me feel like i was watching the whole thing over again because i was like i don't know how they could either win or lose this. Like, it seems like they're so OP, but yeah. But that was my anime video. I just really, I was feeling doing I Show 21. I was watching this new basketball anime. It was called uh, A Hero No Sora. And it's pretty good. Um, but it, a lot of the characters reminded me of some of the characters of I Show 21. I don't think it's anywhere near I Show 21's level, but it's good to see an anime that keeps that kind of vibe to it in today's age. Um, and Hiramo's just so cool. It's freaking, yeah! <laughs> it's so freaking crazy. Oh, and the mascot's pretty dope, too. And they give you, like, little... If you don't know how, how football works, it does explain it if you're not, like, a football fan. I'm a football fan, but that's not why I like the anime. Because I can... I think if you're a football fan, it's going to actually distance you a little bit from the anime because you see how unrealistic something is. Like a high school kid running a 4-2... Even though they do state that it's not a legit 4 2, it's just that's un, unthinkable, especially in Japan. <laughs> no, it's, it's Japan is just not known for its football ability. So, like, uh, some of the abilities in there are like exaggerated to the extreme, but it's really good. And they actually have an American team in there too, which is cool. They actually, it actually is like, there are world teams like there's a team for Russia and there's like a World Cup and all. it's all it's so cool and there's like a tournament arc I love tournament arcs that's one of my favorite thing in animes I also wanted to talk about King and Ashura at some point but not right now because I'm still waiting for that show to end I'm so amped for season three I am ready for season three of King and Ashura because that's just I actually enjoy that more than Baki my cousin told me about it and I forgot about it and I watched it and I was like oh did you hear it he's like yeah I told you I was like oh <laughs> you probably did i forgot but it's really good uh but yeah that's all i really got to say if you want to talk about iShow 21 hit me up because i love that anime and if you watch it tell me what you think about it and tell me why you don't like it if you don't like it because i'm interested to see i mean i'm gonna debate you about it i'm not gonna be a dick about it but i'm gonna debate you and see if like we can come to a middle ground on why you don't like it i think that's interesting i like to talk to people just because we have different viewpoints doesn't mean we can't talk about it but thanks for watching as always, guys.